Hello, everybody. My name is Mo, and I have the pleasure to be on this channel. And, uh, you know, I want to give you guys a little song real quick. Let's give you guys a song. So, uh, let's see what I got here. I give you a little snippet, just a little bit. All right. Lay your head on my pillow. Hear you can be yourself. All right. That's all I got for you. So, basically, um, you know, I was asked to do this interview because of my profession. So I drive trucks. It's uh, not typically females that drive trucks, but I do. Um, you know, I, I just go around Texas. Um, not too bad. And um, it's pretty easy. I drive flatbeds, flatbed trucks. And, um, you know, I get to meet a lot of people along the way. It's not a bad profession at all. The only um, downside I would have with the profession would be uh, basically like the pay nowadays. The pay is very different because a lot of people get into this um, trucking business and they accept certain kinds of, um, they accept any kind of wage. You know, if they have different, um, well, how can I say it, like, you know, people pay by the load or whatever. If they have this, somebody can drop a crazy price for you to go like a thousand something miles and you only get in about $800 to a thousand dollars to maybe, maybe even $1,500, you know, and it's those type of lows that is messing up the thing because they see that somebody would, you know, accept those prices. And then next thing you know, they like the next person's like, oh man, I can do these prices, I can do this, I can do this, and then people are just snatching up these lows, which is making it bad and dropping the funds for everybody else. But, um, I mean, other than that, everything is great. Everything is cool, you know. So, I um, appreciate y'all for listening to me on this channel, and I appreciate the opportunity to be on it. So, uh, How far do you go, and uh, how many days you are away from home? Um, So, it's about maybe about three days or something like that um it depends so mostly texas and uh louisiana oklahoma just the southern sides because i i'm a born and raised texan i don't do no snow or ice or anything like that so i try to prevent that i that's not my thing i don't like that how do you manage your stay and food how do i manage the stay stay and uh, your food for that for for food Oh, the food is easy. You know, you can always stop. It's always a, it's nothing like home food, shall I say. Nothing is like home. So it's always good to eat home or make you something and take it on out. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Who owns this truck? I do. Oh, it's how many trucks you have? Just one. Oh, okay. So you are always busy on with the... Loading, loading? Uh, no, not really. Uh -huh. yeah, I mean, I do like two or three a week. Okay. That's about it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So anyone else you drive alone or someone is with you? No, alone? someone's with me at all times. Yeah. If it's not a person, it's my dog. So, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, where you will stay if there are more than three days or two days or mm -hmm. something? Where you will stay? Um, Inside the truck? In the or truck you, or, or, yeah, in the truck or a room or something like that. Yeah. How did you come into this line, this trucking line? Well, I didn't want a girly job. <laughs> I didn't want a girly job, so, okay. you know, I don't want to sit at a desk and, or clean up or something like that. And I'm very handy and I know how to do a lot of things. So, you know, that's how I ended up. Like how that. did you find money for this buying truck? Um, working. By working? Yeah, you, you, you got to work. Yeah. Oh, okay. How much a truck would cost average? About a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Is it a new, brand new one? No, or it's, it's not brand new. It's okay. uh, it must have been yeah, more. Yeah, about twenty thirteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, what else you want to tell your young people who are away from this trucking line? Do what you do. You know, do do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. And it don't matter. Don't let no someone else's success deter you from you from getting yours you know you want to have your own type of success don't 
try to be like anyone else or anything like that, you know. Um, always stay in your own lane and do what's right and be a good person. That's my motto every single day, to be a good person. So, Give a shout out, uh, shout out uh, for the other YouTube channel. Okay, uh, so my YouTube channel is Mo Guns Less Problems. And y'all can always find me there. I got about uh, 1.7 thousand subscribers right now. Um, so yeah, y'all can find me there if that's your type of thing. Um, because I'm like, I'm a influencer for the Second Amendment. Um, if that's your type of thing, you're a true patriot, you know, you can go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel and check it out.